Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you can click the subscribe button and stay for a while. I upload three times a week, get ready with me, shop my stash, try on your makeup. If it's makeup or beauty related, I will be posting it. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell from the title of the video, today we're gonna to talk about this little item right here. It is the Natasha Denona High Gen Skincare Fused Glow Beautifier Highlighting Bouncy Face Powder. At first I thought this was just a highlighter and then I made the mistake of watching Natasha Denona use it, explain, I guess, its purpose and showed us different ways to use it and she convinced me that I needed it. <laughs> So here we are. Okay, so if you wanna hear my thoughts on this product and maybe a couple of comparisons from my collection, see if I can find anything similar, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, my face. Oh my gosh, this is the fifth, maybe sixth time I've tried to film this. The Twinkies are not making it easy today. My girl twin, she's having a day today. <sighs> I was able to get my workout in, which was my running for today. Thursdays I normally do running and shoulder stuff, so like bench press and whatever accessory stuff. I do, but uh, yeah, it's it's been a rough morning. <laughs> okay, so this new Natasha Denona product, I purchased mine through Ulta. I did have a 20% off code. I don't know if it's a special they got going on, but it's like a one-time purchase thing. And so I used it and I got it at 20% off because I believe this is not coming to Sephora until after the savings event. FYI, if you have an account at Ulta, go check to see if you have that 20% off coupon. All right. Purchased it from Ulta, the Hygen Skincare Infused Glow Beautifier from Natasha Denona. It retails for $48. There's four different shades available, a light, a medium, a dark, which is the third lightest shade, and deep. Now, when she swatched this, you could tell that the base was pretty transparent. Uh, so I could see why she's promoting that one shade can cover multiple skin tones, but if you are tan or deep complexion and you tried this out, please let us know down in the comments if it worked out for you pretty well. Okay, so the summary here from the Ulta website, Natasha Denona's Hygen Skincare Infused Glow Beautifier Highlighting Bouncy Face Powder. <laughs> transforms her Hygen Primer Serum into a multifunctional talc-free powder form. Enriched with skin-loving ingredients, it leaves the skin with a silky soft touch and natural luminous finish. Now, like I mentioned, I watched her video. I for sure watched the one where she used it on a model, but then there's a video where she explains all the benefits and all that good stuff. If you use this on a regular basis within, I think she said 24 to like 35, days. I could be wrong on the numbers, but around around that ballpark, you would be able to see a difference on your skin and just texture, pores, all that good stuff. I'm not going to test that out. <laughs> all right. So I do enjoy the unicorn. Definitely reminds me of skincare. By the way, if you have an Ulta close to you, see if they have this like in stores because the way I received this, I thought it was for sure gonna be broken because it's just like a bubble mailer and it wasn't even wrapped or anything and they just stuck it in there with my receipt. <laughs> okay, so here's what the component looks like. I think it's metal. It has a 12 month shelf life made in Italia. Awesome. Okay, and then on the back, it has a sticker with some information. It's a pretty thin compact. I do enjoy it. It's pretty sleek, it's pretty nice. Definitely looks a little bit fancy, you know, bougie. And then there's what the product itself looks like. Medium, shade 02 medium is the shade that I purchased. Okay, today is hair wash day. My hair really needs to get washed. I'm gonna swatch this because I have not touched it. It looks so pretty. I did get a close up with my macro lens. So I'm gonna show you as I swatch it because you're going to be able to see how interesting this formula is just for me swatching it. Ooh, okay. It does feel like a powder, but 
you see how it almost looks like it's wet? It has a scent. What is it reminding me of? Okay, so there is Swatch. Okay, I'm liking the undertone. So the light shade is sold out at Ulta. That's the shade I wanted to pick up, but honestly, I think I'm enjoying the undertone of this one more. I feel like maybe that one would have been a tiny bit too icy for me. Okay, I'm going to, just so we can see. Oh, pretty. I do not own her High Gen, is it High Gen serum? Uh, I feel like every person I've heard say that they own it, they do really enjoy it. I decided to skip on it. So you can use this under your foundation. You can use this on top of your foundation, kind of like the hourglass, you know, that ambient lighting powder that they own just to give that overall lit from within throughout your whole base. Or you can use it as targeted highlighter. So three different ways. I already have my skincare on. I went in to the Ilia Face Milk, the Danessa Myricks Balm Powder for my T-zone, and the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum for the rest of my face. I think what I'll do is one half this under my base, the other half I'll do as targeted highlighting. I don't know if I want this all over my face, <laughs> so. I thought this was going to feel a little more creamy, but you can clearly feel that it's a powder. Let's see if I can make this work. This is my Sonia G Jumbo Base, and I'm gonna see how it looks with this brush. Okay, so this is the side where I'm just gonna go ahead and add it. You hear that? Oh my goodness, all day thing. Definitely feels like a powder on the face. Pick up a tiny bit more. I'm going pretty light. I do not want to go overboard. All right, so I have the high gen powder on this side. I do feel like I'm getting a slight glow. I didn't go overboard, like I said. Can you even tell the difference? <laughs> I mean, I can if I look up close. I don't know if this is something I'm gonna use underneath. Like, I feel like you can't really tell. And I don't want to add way too much. Okay, let me go ahead and add my base, all the good stuff, and then we'll add it on top. Hold, please. Okay, I did go in to the Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation. Shade number 16. Been really enjoying this. This is going to be the third time I use it. I have the Natasha Denona High Gen Powder on this side and not on this side. I will say that this side looks a tiny bit more smooth than this side. So as far as blurring the pores, I would say it's actually doing that. I went pretty light with my foundation layer and I used the sponge. Let me jump in to the Natasha Denona concealer. This is the shade N7. A good concealer if you've been on the fence it's a good one i would definitely say it's a tiny bit more of a fuller coverage kind of product so tread softly when using this i'm gonna use the sponge Okay, I'm only hopping back on to show you the Natasha Denona products that I'm using since the new item we're trying today is a Natasha Denona item. As far as cream products, I went into the Simi Haze Cream Bronzer, the Chanel Lip and Cheek, and I always link the exact shades that I'm using. Powders, the Huda Beauty Press Powder for my under eyes, Milk Makeup, Pore Eclipse Loose Powder for the rest of my face. And then I did go in to the new NYX Buttermelt Bronzer. Deserve Butter is the shade. Now we're gonna jump in to this beautiful blush from Natasha Denona, My Mini Dream Glow Blush. I will be swatching this next to the new Hygiene Powder, but for now I'm just gonna use the blush and I just mix both. This is the N17 from BK Beauty. 
and Nicky Le Rose. I'm still loving this blush. It is absolutely beautiful. Okay, I did pull out the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. This is the light version. I am going to compare the Hygiene Powder to this highlighter right here. For now, let's just create a quick little eye look. I think I'm gonna do this shade and maybe this one and one of the glitters on my lid. Singe EO2. Totally forgot to turn off the camera. I went into the lightest matte and just kind of blended out to the edges of the outer corner and then brought it into the crease. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Let's jump into the lightest shimmer. I did put on some NYX glitter glue. Okay, this is where we are at. I went in to the Benefit Cosmetics Brow Pencil. No brow gel yet. I like to wait until after I put highlighter on. And then I started with the KVD mascara, but that is such a horrible mascara. It flakes like crazy. So bad. I'm pretty sure it's been past two weeks since I opened it and it's just, it's a horrible mascara. I'm gonna toss it. So I finished it off with the Kali Ray mascara. Now we're gonna use this as highlighter and I think I'm going to attempt also to use it kind of like the Hourglass Ambient Powder. This is the Sonia G Worker L and this is what I'm gonna use for highlight. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, definitely though reminds me of all the other highlighters that she has in her collection, which I do enjoy. I will say though, if you could see what I see with the naked eye, this side looks smoother, very soft, almost like I have a filter on my skin, especially right here, which is the areas where my pores are the worst. Here, like what pores and then here you could still see my pores just a tiny bit blurring of the pores i would definitely agree with that because i am seeing the difference it's not something that you would notice say like on camera i don't know if it does the same thing on top okay now comes i guess the true test <laughs> I'm a little nervous because this is like a very lit from within kind of highlighter. It's not, I'll go ahead and swatch it next to the Hourglass Ambient Powder just so we can kind of compare, but I don't feel like it compares to that. But okay, this is the Beaky Beauty 104. It's a very big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna dip Okay, I did not mess up my makeup like I thought it was going to. Okay, it might actually be doing the same thing that, well, not the same, but similar. Does my face, no. Okay, so on top, this is the side that I don't have the high gen powder underneath. The glowiness is sitting on top of the pores but on this side it's not like on this side it looks smooth okay man, let me gather my thoughts finish up the face and we'll be back with some comparisons okay i'm gonna jump into the natasha denona lip liner in 0 0.5 cleo Natasha Denona lipstick. This is in the shade Daphne and it's from the I Need a Rose collection. Tiny bit of the Natasha Denona My Dream Collection gloss. This is my absolute favorite gloss ever. Just a tiny bit, not too much because I already have lipstick. Honestly, I forgot that I have this and I love it because I would have just used 
the lip liner with this gloss. Okay, here is completed face. Right side, my right side. <laughs> Looks just so much smoother. I don't think this blurs the pores on top. I think if you go in with this powder and then you go in with your base product, I think you'll see it, but on top, not so much. And I use the same primers on both sides. It's so crazy. All right, swatch comparisons. So let me swatch the Natasha Denona. Okay, now do I think it's worth the $48? I don't know yet. Upon first impressions, here's a swatch of the Hygen. I feel like, I don't know yet. Okay, I'm swatching the one from the blush and the texture is not the same. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like the Hygen just kind of sinks into your skin. And this highlighter, like even though it does blend out very, very pretty, very lit from within kind of glow, like it doesn't sit on top. Here on the swatch, it looks like it's sitting on top versus the Hygen powder. Okay, now I'm gonna swatch the Glam Face Palette Highlighter. Okay, now this one, the texture feels similar to the Hygen powder. It just doesn't have skincare ingredients like the Hygen powder. Ooh, okay. But this one, as I'm swatching, it's feeling not exactly the same, but how it feels, how it's sitting. Well, not sitting, because I feel like the Hygen still doesn't look like it's sitting on top and the swatch of the Glam Face Palette is. Okay, I wanted to pull out the Rose Ink because when I saw the promos and when I saw her working with it, this is what I thought of. This is the cream highlighter from Rose Ink, but okay, texture's different. The funny thing is like, even though this is a cream, when you swatch it, it's pretty, almost like a dry kind of cream and it turns to powder. I feel like it does. It's one of my absolute favorites. Ooh, okay. Not close in texture at all, but I feel like, as far as how it sits on the skin, this is the closest to it, to the Natasha Denona. The shimmer's not the same, but just, it sinks into your skin. Kind of like the Natasha Denona. Yeah, I love this rose ink cream highlight. It is so pretty. Let me um, take these off and I have two more comparisons. A few minutes later. Okay, so I went ahead and swatched the Natasha Denona Hygiene Highlighter Powder. The LYS highlighter, the texture reminds me of this new Natasha Denona. Oh no, not even close. <laughs> Not close at all. This LYS highlighter is a pretty glowy one. Not even close. <laughs> but you see how the Natasha Denona just kind of sinks into my skin? It almost becomes the color of my skin. And then how this is just sitting on top as far as swatches go. Okay, last but not least, the Hourglass because I feel like this is what I thought of when I saw this from Natasha Denona, but it's not even, not even close. This is like a true, a true powder, but it does have that lit from within kind of glow in it. Yeah. So, so far, closest comparison as far as texture and how it feels on your fingers is the Glam Face Palette Highlighter in that one, at least formula-wise. Okay, one more comparison because I just remembered the What's Up Beauty Serengeti Highlighter. Now, formula-wise, no, but the finish and how it sits on top of your skin. I absolutely love this. Even though it's a powder highlighter, it just looks so naturally on your skin. So I'm swatching both sides separately. This is the sky and then this is the leopard cheetah. Okay, so the sky portion first. Okay, I would say we might have 
something close to the Natasha Denona as far as how it sits on your skin. Formula, it's not the same. It just doesn't feel the same, but I feel like how it sits on the skin. This might be the closest to the Natasha Denona high gen. But do you see the Natasha Denona? You see that shine? Wowza. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope this video helps you out in deciding on whether you want to pick up this item from Natasha Denona. It is a very beautiful product. So far, uh, I'm actually really enjoying it. I did not think I was going to enjoy it as much as I am. I was totally going to skip this. <laughs> Highlighters is one of the things that I use the least of. It truly is. And it is very rare that I am impressed by a highlighter. I think the last highlighter I was impressed by was the What's a Beauty Serengeti highlighter. But I will give it this. It has special qualities that I haven't seen in a highlighter before. And I get it because it's a skincare infused makeup product. I would have to keep using it. And of course I definitely will. I think next time I do my makeup, I will for sure use the powder before my base on the entire face and see if that claim is still staying true. I would say if you can get it on sale, get it on sale. Um, how much product do we get in here? 0.35 ounces. I like the component. It's sleek. It's pretty. It does feel pretty luxurious. I would definitely say it feels like a skincare product. The smell of it. The smell, I actually do like. What is it reminding me of? I think there's a body wash that I have used that reminds me of this smell. I enjoy it. It's not too strong. It doesn't linger. It does go away. But every time you open it, you could smell it. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the comparisons. So far, I'm really enjoying it. It's getting the thumbs up for me as far as first impression goes. Like I already mentioned, I will keep using it and keep you all posted. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for being here, my lovelies. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea all the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it truly does all mean the world to me. With that being said, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye.